Hello again, everyone. Josh Hunt here, financial analyst based out of Columbia, South Carolina. Uh, what we're going to do today is automate the process of taking cell contents and producing cell comments out of them. Um, if you've been an accountant for any length of time or really an analyst of any sort of any length of time and you've used Excel a lot, you've probably come across um, at some point a scenario where you have a spreadsheet with a lot of notes or comments on it and sometimes as you can see here to the left the comments get very long and it makes the spreadsheet difficult to read so what I've done what I do with a lot of my spreadsheets and where I'm importing notes and or even making notes manually is I've come up with this code here to dynamically collapse the cells and make and place comments into those cells um, where the comments equal the cell contents the text in other words within the cell and it just makes it a lot easier to read uh, you can just you, you simply hover over the cell and the note will pop out at you so um, so let's get started uh, one thing uh, when learning VBA to keep in mind is when you go into the coding area and, and you're trying to figure out what your code is doing just hit F8. F8 is a, one of the best learning tools um, for VBA that there is out there I think. I mean you're going to go to Google and you're going to you know look at sample code and you're going to play with that but when you have code to play with you need to go through it line by line at some point so that you can see what's going on and so that's what we're going to do here I've already typed out the code I don't want to waste time with that I'm just going to go through it line by line with you and explain and show you what happens so let's do that um, basically this code is very simple we, we've basically you've got three variables you've got J as range R cell as the cells within that range as range and the area of the cell or the area of the comment box as long. So what we're going to do, the first line of code here after declaring the variables is we're going to set the range um, of the comment column. So in this case actually it's F2 to F, I'm going to say 500,000. This right, this 500,000, you could put it to a million if you wanted to. It doesn't matter really. You just want to make sure it's always longer than the amount of rows you would ever have. And the reason it doesn't matter, you would think, well, 500,000, 600,000, oh, well, that's a lot of rows to go through. It's going to make your code bog down. But this code, as you will see, is designed to stop when there's no more cells to process so just make sure that's a large number um, so with, we got that covered so hit F8 again um, this right here active cells dot cells or active sheet dot cells dot row height equals 15 that's just me trying to make all of the rows on the spreadsheet um, the same height so once I hit F8 again, you're going to see the the rows collapse. So there you go. And then this uh, line right here, J dot clear comments. We're just going to basically clear all the comments out from a prior run. In other words, you might have comments, you know, down here. In other words, um, if you're importing data and all of a sudden you don't have as many rows, um, you want to just clear out everything. So that's what we're doing there. Hit F8 and this begins the loop we're going to loop through each cell in the range until there's nothing else to loop through um, dependent upon the cell criteria so let's hit F8 so the first criteria um, the, the code now is looking at cell F2 and it's asking the question is the is F2 blank or is it not blank in other words is it is it a blank cell 
if it's not blank, if it has something in it, in other words, then we're going to add a comment. Hit F8. And so hit F8 again. And so you see the comment box is already, when it, once I hit F8, it's already there. There's nothing in it. Let me just show it to you. But the comment box is there. So we can watch as we go along our code what happens here. So visible equals false. Um, basically, it just means you have to hover over it. Now, you'll see, you'll notice when I hover over it while we're running the code, the box does not pop out. But that's just while we're running the code. Once the code is run, you'll be able to hover over it and the bo box will pop out. So hit F8 again. And this right here, dot text, um, our cell dot value, is basically going to place the cell contents within the comment box. So we'll watch that happen right when I hit F8. And so there you go. This next line of code dot shape dot text dot auto size equals true. Um, basically auto sizes the comment box. And there you go. But auto size, that line of code we just looked at, a lot of times if you have if if you don't hit alt enter or if your your text goes way too long it'll basically make the comment box too wide so this next line of code simply looks at the width of the comment box and makes the determination well is it over a certain width if it is then we need to um, trim it down a little bit and make it easier to read um, you can play this actually this code right here you can play with to sort of suit your own needs. Um, as you can imagine, some people might be okay with a certain width that others aren't. Um, in theory, you could make your comment boxes as high, the height as big as you wanted to, and you'd still be able to easily read the comments. The only problem is, you know, it might bother you that the comment box is a lot longer than it needs to be. But this part of the code really is not the most important part so we're just gonna uh, go through it here in this case the executive bonus the comment um, is not long enough it's not over 300 so the code skips everything after that and goes straight to indiv so um, this right here is just coloring the cell um, we, I've already got it the co uh, color 24 so you won't see anything happen I'm going to a lot of times when I do these um, types of coding exercises with involving comments, um, I like to make the color of the cell black, just so you can't see any text uh, within the cell. Um, all you can see is the comment indicator. So you're going to end the width, and then we're going to uh, end the if, and then we're going to go to the next cell. Now it's looping around. We're on F3 now. So I'm going to go a little faster, as you know what's happened. So let's look at this. Let's show it. Now, in this case, see how long this is? It's auto-sized, but it's way too long, way too wide, actually. So this is where this if statement is going to come in and help us out. It's going to fix it, and you're going to be able to see it fixed right when I hit F8. So. see and there you go so it's fixed for, we can easily read that I'm gonna go to the next cell keep going keep going okay now this if statement at, at cell F6 over here it's blank and there's no text so in other words it read this if the R cell is not blank but it was blank because you can see and also that then it goes to this else if um, R cell dot enter that color index if the color is blank what we want to do is we want to clean up color the color from any prior import so the colors blank if the color's blank, then we're going to drop out of the code altogether, or the routine, and basically just end it. So it's going to go to efficient, which is down here. So as you can see, 
and we're done. So, so what I'm going to do, uh, let me come back see. over. So I'm going to change this to one and show you what happens when I do that. It's just basically going to make the cells black. And I'm going to click on this button instead of hitting F8. This button just runs the code all at once. So you see now over here the code just pops up. You can see that. Now you might be wondering, well, that's nice, but wouldn't it be nicer if the cells were automatically updated when I um, type something in? So if I type something here, this is a new record. Wouldn't it be nice if it just automatically added the comment? Well, this is how you do that. You come down here, first copy the code, come down, right click, view the code of the worksheet, drop down here, worksheet, change. Now, when you come over here, this is a new record. This is also a new record. Okay. And then the nice thing about it is when you delete it, it's like nothing was ever there. So this works even in fact let's let me show you if we open up access. Um, let's see, table one here. Here's some numbers. Let me get this on the screen. Here's some notes, rather. Notes and numbers. Let's import this into Excel and see what happens when we import it. Let's go to, say, yeah, let's just do it right here, actually. Let's get rid of all this. <clears throat> uh, let's see. Get external data. Database one. And ta da, you've got the um, data in there. So it works with imports. Let's uh, let's delete one of these lines. Let's refresh it now. See? So it's only, it, it basically updates everything for you. Um, so you don't have to you don't have to do any kind of cleaning up. And if you want to, you can even do it for a pivot table. Just come over here, drop down, pivot table update. So it's very flexible code. I uh, hope this has been beneficial for you.